And if there's anything that'll get fake Christians shaking in their boots or beating around the bush, it's this passage of scripture. This is awesome. First John chapter three, verses four to six. Everyone who sins also commits lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. As I said in my last video, sin is lawlessness. Sin is not anything else. When you break God's law, that's sin. Plain and simple. You break his commandments, you sin. Verse five, you know that he, that is Jesus, was revealed to take away our sins. Hold on a second. Jesus didn't come just to go, oh, I love you. I love you in your sin. Oh, I, I, I accept your sin. I accept everything about you. That's not what it says here. He came to take away your sin, not sweep it under the rug. Remember, John the Baptist said, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Not closes his eyes and is blind to it. Not sticks his fingers in his ears and closes his eyes and goes, I see no evil, hear no evil. No, not throwing a rug on it. No, cleaning it up, taking it away. Last part of verse five, and no sin is in him. No sin is in Jesus. Now here's a biggie. Whoever remains in him, remains in Jesus, doesn't sin. Huh? John said that? How dare someone say that, that you, you don't sin if you are in Christ? So let me get this straight. Sin is breaking the commandments of God. And if you're in Christ, you don't sin. In other words, if you are in Christ, you do not break the law of God. That's what John said. I know a lot of Christians would freak out about that, but that is what John said. This is the apostle. This is the disciple that was the closest to the Lord. No wonder he talks like this. There is no one who knew Jesus like John. There was no one that was closer to Jesus than John. Remember, he is the disciple whom Jesus loved. The disciple whom Jesus loved. Not one of the disciples that Jesus loved, but the disciple whom Jesus loved. The teacher's pet, as it were. Verse six again, whoever remains in him doesn't sin. That's what John said. Whoever sins, whoever sins, hasn't seen him and doesn't know him. Who is that ever powerful? How many people today stand up and say that? How many pastors stand in their pulpits and say, whoever of you sins, you have not seen him and you have not known him. And by the way, anybody who's in Jesus, anybody who's in Christ doesn't sin. I can just hear it now in the comment section. I can just hear it now. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. No yeah, buts here. It's John speaking. This is not Paul. This is not Thaddeus. This is not Bartholomew. This is the disciple whom Jesus loved. This is John. Seek God while he may be found because there may come a time when you can't. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will surprise you. He will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.